Recording books are a great way to make keepsakes or to share things with other um, artists. So these are just three variations. You can choose your size, make them small, medium, or large. You can select how many pages you want to put in them. You can personalize your cover with them. This is from a brochure from a Savannah Cemetery wrapped in a string. Um, or you can actually collage your cover. So this is a keepsake journal from a trip I took to the beach. You can also take comic books or art posters, anything that you can collage to make a personalized cover. For a smaller book with fewer pages, it will stand up um, in a line. This is a great way for paintings um, that you could share in a class. If you do printmaking, this is a fabulous way to share prints with everybody in a class. Each one gets their own print and becomes a personal book for each printer. Or you could share photographs from a play, uh, the same place if you took a field trip. Um, it's a great way to do that. With more pages, it allows you to create a sculptural for formation and make it into a star. Um, and then even a smaller book with more pages will make a great star and a string or a ribbon helps hold it in place. When you're making the covers for your accordion book, you need to get together all the supplies that you'll need. Uh, you'll need two mat board uh, pieces, can be thin cardboard glue, a flat brush and water, scissors, a used gift card, decorations can be anything from magazine paper, um, color paper, tissue paper, um, anything to make it decorative. So right now I'm brushing on glue and water, making it as flat as possible. This is from a map that I got at, a, at the Bonaventure Cemetery in Savannah. And now I'm just using a gift card um, to kind of smooth out my glue so that it will have a very smooth application once it's finished drying. You know, flip it over from the back, clean off any excess glue, and then you're gonna cut off the excess paper. Next, you wanna cut the corners, and this is really important. You'll notice I'm cutting them in little triangles so that you can fold the paper. And I'll use the gift card to make it a nice uh, fold, and then I'll use a little glue and water, glue the edge, and I will glue all four sides. Isn't it amazing how quickly I did that? That's exactly what you wanna do with all four sides. So it's nicely a nicely wrapped map board. Um, if you wanna add some other images, you do this same process. I'm putting glue and water on the back of an image and you can place it wherever you want on your uh, cover and use your gift card, smooth it out and make it nice and flat. And the last thing that you wanna do is just follow up with a little water and glue to seal everything so you don't have anything peeling off later and you will have a great cover. You wanna do this with both mat boards. When making an accordion book, the pages are really important. So get all your supplies together. Make sure you have both of your covers for size, a ruler, a pencil, scissors, a cutting board, a cutting blade or a cutting mat, a used gift card, one piece of thick paper for a template. This is what will happen when you put your pages together. You can choose to have them either a long line or a star. Using your template paper, measure the size of your cover. Measuring and cutting for me is easier if it all happens on the right side. Later, I'm going to flip my page. For now though, I want to cut my template so that the top of the page or the bottom of the page is a an eighth of an inch shorter and that the side of my page, one side of my page is an eighth of an inch shorter. Shorter. Then I'll add back a quarter of an inch so that that will be my flap where the pages can be glued side to side. You'll see that it's smaller. My pages will eventually be smaller than my template. It's time to go in, measure and cut each page. If you got a paper cutter, great. If not, use a blade and a cutting mat and a ruler. Now I'm ready to go back to my template and cut off the part that would be the flap so that I can measure each page and draw the flap. Once again, I'm doing mine to the right because I'm right-handed. But later, I am going to turn my page because the flap must be 
on the left side of the page so that it will glue properly and make the line that you need it to. So it's really important in the end when you start to add your media that the flaps are on the left. Well, now you're ready to add whatever you want to to your pages. Photography, you can paint on them, you can draw on them, you can mount your prints on them. If you are gluing into it, it's really important that you do so uh, now while your pages are flat and try to make sure that your pages remain flat in the end so that they'll be ready to go when you want to put your book together. Now you're ready to put your book all together. Of course, you're going to need your completed covers and you're going to need your completed pages. If you have even pages, that's great. If it's odd, have a cover page. You need a ruler, a used gift card, glue, water, paintbrush, paper towel, and an option is string or ribbon. Um, with your pages ready, you should have your flap on the left side so it's ready for folding. Put a ruler against the flap line and fold up. You want to make sure that all of your pages are folded and ready to go before you start the gluing process. Oddly enough, the last page is glued first. So get your back cover ready and you're going to put, and if you're using string or ribbon, you're going to go ahead and glue that onto the right side first. I put glue on the back of my last page and here's what's really important. Make sure that the bottom and the left side line up with the back cover. I'm going to use my gift card to make sure I get a very smooth glue um, a, um, coverage and so that it adheres correctly and I'm still making sure that it lines up just right and my flap is ready for the next page. So I put a little bit of glue and water on this flap. Don't overdo the glue. And now I'm going to line up the next page, the bottom of the next page with the bottom of the last page. And this is just really important that the bottom and the left side always line up. And I'm still just spreading out with that cool used gift card. So for the next page, I will put the glue on, on the back side of the flap so that it glues to the back of the next page. And once again, I'm going to line up the bottom and the side. This time it would be the right side. But it's okay, it's really important that the bottoms are even. And then I'll use my gift card to make sure I have a smooth adhesion. And I'll continue to do this accordion style, backwards and forwards, until I have my book all put together. When you get to the next and the last page, that's when you want to stop. So remember, it's just alternating, same thing throughout the book, until all your pages are together. If you have even numbered pages, you will end with the first page. If they're odd, then what you want to do is start with a cover page. And you'll notice I've already glued on my string to the left side of the front cover, and I'm going to glue whatever my first page is. So for this one, I'm going to put a cover page in. Now you notice the cover page, or whatever your first page is, you will go ahead and cut the flap off. It doesn't need the flap for it. And here you go. This is the book glued end to end and the string is decorative and functional.